Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 6 of Robomania Coal Miner vs. Backyard Ripper. This event is action packed, and we have a great list of fights ahead of us today. And without further ado, let's jump into the ranking report just to jump into the fights. So, here is the updated top 30. Uh, there should be two more guys, but this is the top 30 now. So it's the top 30. Hammerhead still at top with Spider and Coal Miner both jumping up to the second and third spots. We got Supersonic, Backyard Ripper, and Doomsday also making a pretty good jump. And in the center, we got 13 through 18. Those are pretty good robots that are jumping up there right now. Um, everything else is pretty much either staying the same or there's some small changes that is going through but we have a lot of fights that are going to be changing what's happening in this top 30 next episode so look forward to it guys uh, everything else should be changing next episode let's also take a look at the top six fights of tonight we got the main card the first fight coal miner versus backyard ripper that is a great fight the number three versus number six seed a lot of people think backyard ripper is overseeded that its seed is much higher than it actually should be but now this is the one chance for backyard ripper to test its skills to see if it can defeat the number three the top three robot in robomania coal miner and for our co-main event, we got the number 10 versus number 17 seed, Ripblade versus Where Ya At. That's a pretty intense fight as well. We got a spinner going up against a flipper. Usually the flippers end up winning that, but who knows what happens in that. And for our next four bouts, we got Bandit going up against Dinner for one. That's a fairly good fight. We got Eye Poker going up against Fangs. King Hazard's making its return going up against Double Cut, who's been on a pretty bad losing streak. And of course, the veteran Raptor going up against the newcomer, Uragano. This should be an action-packed freaking card. I hope you guys enjoy this. And let me know in the comments below what you guys think is going to happen. Enjoy the fights. And let's jump into the first fight of the episode. We got Razorback, who is 1-1. One going up against Junkyard, who is making its debut in Robomania here today. Both of them are spinning discs, so this should be a pretty action-packed fight. I'm excited for this. Let's jump right into it. Razorback versus Junkyard. This is going to be a good fight instantly. Razorback has smoke coming out of its spinner, which is pretty interesting, just to say the least. And uh, Razorback is backing up, losing a weapon of its own on the spinner disc, and uh, now is pushed up against the wall. And there seems to be a little bit of a stalemate going on right now. Both spinners seem to be locked up against each other. Right now, it looks like Junkyard is definitely in control of this. Uh, Razorback loses its weapon. And I think it just got counted out. It hasn't moved in 10 seconds. And yeah, there it goes. The move of the fight is Razorback just getting dominated. Junkyard pushes against it and makes it smoke. And for our next fight, we got two robots who haven't won a single fight yet in Robomania, and one of them is going to be walking out today with a win. We got Stingray going up against Honeycomb. One's a poker, one's a hammer. This should be a pretty interesting fight. I don't really know exactly who's going to win, but let's see right here. This is the only way of telling. Stingray instantly pushes up against Honeycomb and gets some pretty decent hits on the front, while Honeycomb, however, is smashing down its hammer against Stingray's wheel. <laughs> oh my goodness, Stingray goes flying for a second, just levitating. There's some good hits on the top of the chassis of Stingray, and it's not looking that good. Uh, Stingray is getting a few good hits in on uh, Honeycomb, but however, Stingray gets flipped. It just flips itself over. That happened in its last fight, in its debut. It, got, it flipped itself over against Spark, and it lost from there. Let's see if Stingray can do anything to recover. Right now, I don't think there's any chance of it recovering, mainly because it has no self-writing mechanic. And Honeycomb just is trying to get rid of one of those weapons, so it has no way of winning. It should be getting counted out fairly soon. There's some good hits on the bottom chassis of Stingray. Honeycomb is doing work today. And there we go. I think it's getting counted out, and that will do it. 
the move of the fight, one of the new implements of the Robomania. Right here, Stingray flips itself over one wheel and flips it. It, had, it lost from there. It could not do anything. And for our next fight, we are going into the third fight. This is D Sector, the 32 ranked robot who has a 1 in 1 record, going up against Bella, the undefeated 1 in 0 robot. Both of these robots have knockouts for their wins. D Sector losing by TKO, which means got flipped or got immobilized. Here we go, a spinner versus a hammer. This should be a pretty interesting fight. Uh, usually spinners come out on top when it goes against uh, a hammer, but D Sector has two hammers, so who knows what's going to happen here. They're both kind of just spinning around in a circle. And there goes one of the wheels off of D Sector. However, it does have three others, so it, it can still function without one wheel. There is some good damage happening, however to Bella, I believe, on the front right side of its chassis. This is a pretty big dent. Bella hasn't done really any damage to D Sector yet. They're kind of just spinning in a circle as well. We got 40 seconds done with a match, and there, I think that's smoke coming out of Bella's chassis. Out of the spinner, actually. And there we go, one of the weapons falls off of D Sector. Bella got a good angle and did a lot of damage to the chassis. Backs up, goes back in for another. Oh no, D Sector. D sector, what's gonna happen to you, lady, lady guy, man, boy? I don't, I don't really know what to say after that. They back up, hit each other's butts. That was pretty crazy. Oh, and a big hit on the backside of D sector. Bella seemed to turn the corner, and now is on top of this fight. There's smoke coming out of two different places in D sector, and D sector needs to move. They can't just stay in this position. There's a lot of smoke coming out the back right wheel of D sector and I don't know if it's going to recover from that one. There is a huge dent on top of D Sector right now. I, it's, I will be shocked if D Sector comes back and wins this one. But I've seen crazy things happen before, and I think it's actually getting counted out. That looks like it's it. Yep, that'll do it. Bella by TKO. This was one of the big hits right here, knocking off the weapon and claiming victory over D Sector. And for our featured prelim fight, we got the 1 and 2 White Widow going up against the 1 and 0 oh undefeated Foxtrot. White Widow is ranked 28 based off of its last fight, so this should be a pretty interesting fight. Foxtrot is powerful. It has one of the deadliest weapons in this in Robomania in my opinion. But let's see what happens. A huge hit comes off, knocks off one of the weapons of White Widow, while Foxtrot is getting hit hard from all sides all sides that every side oh goodness that'll do it 243 in left in the fight and that'll do it knockout white widow gets a huge hit right there boom ends the fight and for our first fight of the main card we got raptor the five and four robot num ranked number 22 going up against the one and oh Yurgano who is not ranked, but if they win today, they will definitely go into the ranking system. This is a great fight right here. Raptor is a veteran, Yurgano is coming and is rising right now. Let them clash together and Raptor instantly gets hit really hard in the beginning. There's a huge dent in the front chassis of Raptor. Raptor's just trying to do something to knock those spinning wheels off and there it goes its flip, not a flip, what did I just say? Not its flipper, its hammer. That is what I tried to say and it did not work out well. Now it has no weapon. I don't know what Raptor is going to do. It's smoking from the right wheel, the front right wheel it looks like. And Yurigano is in complete control right now. I know you guys always like when I say complete control because it's one of a BattleBots robot. And Raptor is now definitely losing this fight. There's 218 left in the match and Raptor has no weapon. It barely has any health left. Yurigano is definitely going to win this one right from the looks of it. And there's a huge hit, there goes the wheel, and that'll do it. Move of the fight, Yurigano was in control this whole fight. Hits it from the front, goes up from behind, smacks it. There goes a wheel, and that'll do it. I'm personally very excited for this fight. We got the 19 vs 20 seed, King Hazard, the 3 and 2 robot, going up against Double Cut, the 5 and 3. Now one stat that really shows for me is both these robots combined have 8 total knockouts. That is unbelievable. All of their wins have come from knockout. So let's see. I'm expecting this one to be a knockout. Let's see how this one ends. Instantly they go together and double cut. Its weapon is not coming back up. Wow. 
I think King Hazard's weapon is actually holding it down right now. And there it lifts up. All right. It kind of seems like a little stalemate right now. Both these robots really aren't uh, using their weapons at the full potential. However, if they get a right angle, then it's definitely going to go down. There's a little bit of smoke. Double cut barely missed with that first shot. And then it hits. Again, there's a good couple hits. Double cut loses a weapon. Uh, it still has one left, though. And there goes one of its side weapons. Not very efficient, though, so it doesn't care if it loses that. Double cut still has that one axe remaining. King Hazard is still looking good. Spinning at full potential. Oh man, double cut needs to needs to do something right now. It needs to get one good hit to knock off that spinning disc of King Hazard. There goes the wall that just dropped right now, releasing the spinning disc hazard. There's a lot of hazards and spinnings in this. Oh, there goes one of the the barriers, the protecting barriers of double cut that just fell off from King Hazard's freaking spinner. King Hazard is tearing double cut apart right now. And uh, it seems as if, in my opinion, now I could be wrong about this, Double Cut's chassis is too low for King Hazard's weapons to hit. So King Hazard actually can't do that much damage to Double Cut's chassis. But if Double Cut lands a good hit and it's not really doing anything right now, then it could possibly win this fight. Right now, King Hazard is in control of this fight. And there goes its second weapon. Double cut has nothing left. It can only ram and push at this point. I don't I don't really see unless the flippers get into anything, both these robots cannot self-right. This is gonna have to come down to the hazards at this point. I'm not talking about the king hazard, I'm talking about the, the arena hazards. Uh, like I said, I think King Hazard's weapons are too high at this point. Might need to lower them in the future, but against double cut, this is a pretty interesting fight. Uh, Double Cut could push somehow. It can't get damaged that much from King Hazard's weapons. It needs to get on top. Uh, it's actually doing something wrong. It, oh, it flew on top of King Hazard and that, that caused damage to Double Cut. That was a big mistake in my opinion by Double Cut. You have to push King Hazard on the hazards. You can't just drive on the hazards yourself. There's 15 seconds left in this fight. Right now, I think King Hazard has won this, but who knows what the judges are thinking. And 10 seconds left, Double Cut pushes in for one last hit, is doing some sort of damage, some damage is being done to Double Cut itself as well. Oh, two, one, and the match is over. The move of the fight brought to you by Robomania, it was right here, D uh, Double Cut just lost all of its weapons, everything. King Hazard was in control, let's see what the judges say. The winner is King Hazard, a 30 to 27 unanimous decision. All three judges voted in favor of King Hazard. And for our fourth fight of the main card, we got Eye Poker going up against Fangs. This is a 13 versus 24 ranked fight. This should be a pretty good one. Eye Poker coming off of win versus Raptor, and Fangs coming off a really, really dominant win as well. Let's see how this one works. Eye Poker versus Fangs. We got a Poker versus a Hammer Robot. Instantly, Fangs is trying to get on the side of Eye Poker while Eye Poker is trying to square off with Fangs. That's the only way you can win. And uh, this should be a pretty interesting fight, in my opinion. Eye Poker is getting dominated on the side right there. It has a pretty big dent on the right side of its chassis, while Fangs also has a pretty little, little dent. But if Eye Poker keeps pushing Fangs, I think Eye Poker can come up on top. Fangs is definitely the favorite in this fight, Eye Poker being the underdog. So this should be a, a pretty interesting bout we're about to see. I think personally Fangs is going to come up on top in this one just because of all that damage that's being done. I don't think, however, Fangs has the knockout power, you know? I just think. Yeah, eye Poker doesn't really either, but Fangs, Fangs has a little bit more than Eye Poker. Uh, right now it's chewing Eye Poker up, so I, it's proving me wrong, but I don't know. I just don't see either of these robots being a top 5 robot uh, to compete against Hammerhead right now, or even Spider, Coal Miner, all those really good robots. Emergency. These, uh, these robots are. They have to show who's best, you know? They have to go up against each other into the spinning disc. Oh goodness, Eye Poker getting destroyed and that'll do it. 
I couldn't even finish my f my thought because Fangs just proved me wrong, pushing Eye Poker into the spinning disc while chomping on it, causing it to destroy Eye Poker. And for our third fight, we got Bandit going up against Dinner for One, the number 11 versus the number 18. Now this is a good fight, Bandit coming off a loss to Hammerhead for the championship, while Dinner for One is coming off a pretty dominant win over uh, Project F, I believe, in Robomania 4. So here we go, Bandit instantly gets on top of Dinner for One, is chewing it away at this point. Oh goodness, that, that chassis is, oh my gosh, look at that chassis right there on Dinner for One. That is twisted right there, Bandit is dominating. Oh, but Dinner for One pushes Bandit, causes some force, and pushes it on its back. That was a turn of events. Now, Dinner for One can do some damage against Bandit if it gets the right type of moves. Now, I believe Dinner for One already lost one of its weapons, but it still has three left on Spinning Disc. Bandit seems to have everything left, and uh, it's just upside down. It can't do anything. It can't self ride it, it, itself either, but... It's, it's been known for flipping on top of those, those little hazards and flipping on top of robots, so who knows what happens. It can easily flip itself over. It actually lost to Hammerhead getting pushed on its butt, so who knows what's going to happen with Bandit. It's, it's pretty athletic when it comes to getting flips. But let's see what happens here. Dinner for One is currently making a small little comeback. It did get chomped up in the first 10 seconds of the fight, but Bandit is uh, upside down now so it can't really do anything about that and there's been a, quite a bit of damage not a lot not a significant amount done to the backside of bandit while it's been upside down um dinner for one really has to hit off one of those wheels there we go aiming for one of those wheels and it got one off oh wow what a turn of events now this is a pretty decent fight bandit is actually pushing its weapons up against the front chassis of dinner for one and it's actually doing quite a bit of damage while upside down that's pretty interesting bandit like i said always has been known for being very athletic on its back dinner for one backs up and pushes up against bandit the flippers are activated right now let's see what bandit can do oh it actually uses it and almost it barely misses it barely got on top of dinner for one but actually ends it with a knockout it flips on its back from its back on its wheels almost hitting dinner for one while dinner for one drives right into its weapons and gets knocked out. And for our co-main event of the evening, we got the number 10 Ripley going up against the number 17 Where Ya At. There has been a lot of uh, little, some some arguments between these two robots saying that Where Ya At cannot flip over Ripley and vice versa. So this is gonna be a pretty heated fight. Here we go. Where Ya At's gonna have to try to flip Ripley over instantly. Instantly loses one of its weapons and right away loses another one it only has one flipper left while Ripblade is just shredding it apart oh goodness Ripblade Ripblade is looking like a dominant robot right now a veteran if you will has eight fights under its card this is its ninth fight and if it wins it'll definitely push close to the top five maybe even in the top five but where you at just has to survive at this point it has to flip it over somehow and control the rest of the fight seems to be a little bit of a stalemate right now both robots are kind of hugging each other uh, like I said Ripley is a uh, a pretty long robot it's it's, it's big it has those uh, wheels they actually back off I was gonna say they're they're gonna hug for a while uh, where he has one flipper I don't know if it has enough power oh, barely barely has enough power to flip Ripley it needs to get under the chassis it's trying to at this point I don't think it'll have enough power it's almost it's almost doing it but not not enough yet and they're back in the hugging formation. This is very pretty. I love to see this. I very much love to see the hugging. The next fight is Backyard Ripper versus Coal Miner. I hope that's a pretty good main event that's going to be coming up while these guys hug it out. Let's just, let's just talk about this main card, I guess. Uh, Bandit had a really good fight. That was one of the best fights I've seen. I think that had to be, be the performance of the night at least. Uh, let's let's get back to this fight for now because it seems like a little bit more action has come back Where he has trying to get under that right left wheel You can see its little fork is is mounted underneath the wheel, but it just doesn't have enough power 
Oh, the flippers are about to activate right now. Let's see if it can flip anybody. Ripblade into the spinning disc, but it does no damage. Not enough damage to break Ripblade. And where you at is on its butt right now. Oh no. Look at that damage on where you at. It is not looking good. I believe it's getting counted out right now. And where you at cannot do anything. Ripblade wins by technical knockout. Ooh, the move of the fight has to be the flipper coming into play. Ripblade didn't even do that much. The flipper won it for Ripblade. Our main event is here. Coal Miner, the number three ranked robot going up against Backyard Ripper, the number six ranked robot. Backyard Ripper actually made one of the biggest, one of the biggest jumps in the rankings based off of its last fight against Chappie. So this is going to be a pretty interesting fight. Um, something that is a little interesting fact right here before they start destroying each other, the winner of this fight will be going up against Spider who won previously against Emergency. The winner of that fight will be going up against Hammerhead for the championship. And uh, let's get into this fight now. Backyard Ripper is pushed up against its back against the wall, losing two of its weapons on its spinning disc. Backyard Ripper is in control right now. 9 and 4 versus a 3 and 1. These are two good robots. There goes the spinning disc off of the freaking, the freaking guy, the freaking Backyard Ripper guy. That's his name, Backyard Ripper guy. And uh, is now just getting pushed backwards. Uh, now it has no weapon. It could only use the hazards as weapons at this point. And this is, uh, oh man, four minutes left in this fight. I don't think Backyard Ripper can really do anything. Oh, it's getting chewed up on its left side right now. Getting absolutely chewed. There goes one of its wheels. I wouldn't be surprised if more wheels come off after that. And it's smoking from its left side. No surprise there. And now it is on top of Coal Miner. Coal Miner... Uh, has to get it off of it. Backyard Ripper getting pushed down against the wall, kind of. There we go. Coal Miner backs up, almost into the spinning disc, and pushes up against Backyard Ripper. Backyard Ripper has no weapon, has three wheels out of its four. Almost, there we go, two out of its four. I jinxed myself. And uh, it's, get, might lose its third wheel right here. Backyard Ripper is getting chewed up on its right side now. Smoke coming from both sides. I thought this was going to be a closer fight. Coal Miner almost drives up and uses Backyard Ripper as a ramp. Almost drives itself out of the arena. And uh, Backyard Ripper is trying to survive. Trying to survive one more minute. Trying to survive at least five more seconds until the flippers can activate. Flippers are now activated and now all of the hazards are in use. But there we go. Coal Miner's chewing up Backyard Ripper from behind, and that'll do it. K.O. in the main event. Coal Miner winner by knockout.